Playtel is an application that allows families to connect who are living apart through video chat on ebooks. Now, can you tell me why you started this? What was the purpose? How'd you get the idea? Yeah, so I have a nephew that lives in Seattle and I live in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And we do Skype dates every week. And I had just come back from a visit to Seattle where I had bought them this pile of books that we read together every night. Dr. Seuss books, he loves them. And then when I left, you know, we went back to our normal Skype dates and it was just sort of frustrating that we couldn't read together even anymore. So, you know, what I did is I bought myself a second copy of all of those books so that we actually could have story time together over Skype. And it just, it sort of struck me as ridiculous. Like the technology is totally there for us to be able to read right. together. You know, like we have it with WebEx and GoToMeeting for work where we can collaborate on a document while we're inside of a video right. chat. Right. So no reason why we shouldn't be able to have that for families too so that we can, we, we really can develop deep relationships even though we live apart. And so what Playtel does is it keeps their iPads completely in sync so they can see each other and talk to each other over video chat. But then they can turn pages and pick different books together. Mm -hmm. And they can also communicate through touch. So when one person taps on the iPad, the other person sees where they tap so they can look at the pictures and point to things inside of them just like you do when you're right. reading together in person. Are you eventually hoping to have activities that kids can do in the books while they're reading with their parents? Yeah, so a lot of our books very soon are going to be interactive. Um, and even more than just tapping on something and having the photo, having the picture like shake or make right. a sound, we'll have all of that. That's kind of standard. But we're also going to be introducing features into the book that will help grandma teach the kid to read. Mm -hmm. So phonics based stuff like that. So this could even, I mean, right now it has application for smaller kids, but even kids in high school, if they could do this with their teacher or their tutors, it wouldn't mean that they would have to have a tutor that lived right in their town, right? Yeah. The applications kind of are endless in terms of age group. That's exactly right. We've built the platform in such a way that it's completely generic to the number of users that are on it at a given time and the content that's in there as well. So we've really built it to be something that grows with you. So as kids get older and they grow out of doing playtel playdates with grandma, they'll grow into playing games with their cousins and their okay. friends and then grow into doing study dates with tutors and or with friends, teachers, mentors, right. that sort of thing. So five years down the line, what are you hoping Playtel has achieved? Playtel in five years will be an ecosystem in terms of platforms. So we all know that a lot of our interactivity is moving to the TV and other devices. Mm -hmm. And so there's really going to be this um, platform ecosystem that Playtel works on where maybe the video is coming out of your TV for example and the interactivity is happening on a device that's in your hands right and and then there's another piece that's on your iPhone very soon we're gonna have a feature where Playtel captures the memories that you're making while you're making them so it'll mm. take photos and record video clips of you singing nursery rhymes with grandma for example right, right. and everyone in the family is gonna want to see that and have that you know at their fingertips on their iPhone